It's 8 a.m. Live, local. Your Fox 29 Morning News starts now. Welcome back. We all know the past couple of years have been, frankly, horrendous for real estate. Home values have plummeted 30% on average here in the U.S., even more so in many parts of Palm Beach County and along the Treasure Coast. But 2012 is a new year, and with a new year comes new hope and a new beginning. So what can we expect the new year to bring in terms of our home values, our personal wealth and net worth? Here with some answers for us this morning is attorney and author Sherry Olofsson, a frequent guest of ours. Thank you so much for coming sure. in. Sure. Thanks for having me again. <laughs> it's always a pleasure because you have so much to say on this, I know. I'd like to start with where we are right now as we as we say goodbye to 2011. Is the housing market still pretty ugly right now or are we turning a corner perhaps? Sure. Well, you know what, Lauren? It all boils down to the core issue, which was about 27 million loans that were originated during the bubble. Mm -hmm. So, so far we've worked through about 6.5% of those. They've been foreclosed. But there's another 8.5% that have been identified as in, in default or in trouble or at risk. You know, if we compare this to a storm, which is a great analogy mm -hmm. for those of us living here in Florida, it takes a while for it to build up. The storm passes and does the bulk of its damage, but then it takes a while for it to dissipate. Sure. And even after it's gone, there may be some damage done, like what happened in Katrina when the levees broke actually after the storm had passed. And the cleanup, so, of course. Exactly, the cleaning up the mess. Getting these loans off the books. So right now, where we're at is about 46% of the sales are still distressed sales means they're driving down prices. What mm -hmm. happens is we create a cycle much like a storm called adverse feedback and that is about five steps. We've got a full screen for viewers. Basically prices are driven down by the distressed sales, then more values drop, more people go into foreclosure, mm -hmm. more distressed sales, and the prices get driven down further and sort of rinse and repeat right. like you do with shampoo. Right. So we're expecting prices to go down another at least another two or three percent this year as we finish up that dissipation of the storm. Okay. In your crystal ball of sorts as you look ahead into 2012. Might we start to turn the corner at that point or do you think the backlog since you said only you know we're only about six percent in now. Right. Uh, is 2012 a point at which we could start to turn around or not even yet? Well the good news is that the worst is behind us. The storm mm -hmm. has definitely passed especially for Florida. Also during the storm we had what happened what, what happened was called pent up demand. So first time buyers were not buying. We've actually got 40 million multi-generational households. That mm -hmm. means first time buyers living with their parents. Right. Now you know as well as I, can you remember living with your parents? I Those can. folks are going to want to get out and buy as soon as they feel comfortable. Right. So that's working in our favor. And we've also got micro markets throughout the United States that are doing well for different reasons. Fortunately, we've got several of those here in Florida. We are probably the leading state for micro markets, one of which is Miami. Those condo sales have increased by 54% this past year, and they're expected to go up another 5 to 10%, maybe 15% this year in prices because of foreign buyers. They're buying yeah. 70 to 80 percent of those units. Now, we're almost out of time, but just to bottom line this, is home ownership still a good idea for people? Should it still be the American dream? We hear so much about renting versus buying. Is it still good to buy a house today? There are so many reasons that we buy other than financial. We can expect moving forward probably about 3 percent annual appreciation, which is normal, you know, in, on a national level. But here's the thing. Home values need, and costs need to appreciate with income, mm -hmm. and that's going to be the biggest problem for us with unemployment and income sort of stagnant for a lot of us at the lower end of that earning. The prices are not going to go up. They should not go up as quickly as they did before until income goes up. All right. Cherry Olofsson, thanks so much sure. uh, for your crystal ball uh, this morning. We'll be talking more about this, I'm sure, in the new year. Great. Thanks for coming in. Sure. John, back to you. All right. It's 817. There's a new consumer alert.